So if you're following the Raspberry Pi world, you'll know they've released a new OS. They've moved away from the Debian naming scheme to just Raspberry Pi OS, and this is the second major release. This new release is still based on Debian 10 Buster, so not a lot of change there, and it's a 32-bit release. But things to note and shout about. The kernel is now 5.4.79, which is the second to latest stable. Chromium version 84 is now included and has hardware acceleration for video like YouTube, Winner, and it also means that services that use WebRTC for video also benefit like Zoom and other video conferencing platforms. Audio has changed to Pulse Audio, meaning that audio mixing from applications is now possible as well as Bluetooth audio devices, and they've made Orca Screen Reader really easy to install. The big one for me is printing support by default. We've always been able to just install cups, but having it there by default, like in Ubuntu, is a major user experience win. So how easy is it? Just open up the print settings from the preferences and network printers show up, and you can add local printers there. Once in Chrome or other programs, you can print to the printers as you'd expect from any other mainstream OS. And it's there by default.